Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos from ranging from 11 years down to now six months. Every time I make a video, I feel like you've gotten a month bigger. <laughs> um, okay, so I wanted to do a video today on um, kind of handling misconceptions about homeschool. So a lot of these, um, you know, when you're starting to homeschool, people ask you these questions and um, it can be kind of um, a downer um, because you don't really know how to respond and there's really no way to respond, no correct way to respond, um, no proper way to respond, but kind of preparing yourself and knowing these misconceptions. And even if these are things that are, um, you know, creeping through your mind prior to homeschooling or just starting homeschooling, um, know that you are not alone because these are the things that um, kind of misconceptions that I had prior to starting homeschool. And so ones that I feel like a lot of people think about and a lot of people judge homeschoolers on. Um, and so I kind of wanted to go through the list so that you can kind of know that if these are things that you are feeling, you are not alone. Um, these are things that are super common and probably the most common um, things. I say questions that you would get asked, but these are also things that you could, like I said, be thinking of yourself and, and trying to decide whether or not to homeschool. So the first misconception is socialization. Um, that's probably one of the top, if not the top, um, misconception that people have about homeschooling. Now I am speaking for myself, the socialization aspect, um, coming from public school, your kids are used to being around classmates all the time. Now keep in mind at school, you are not allowed to sit there and be social all day. Your social time give or take some time in the classroom um, is primarily lunch, which you get about mm, 20 minutes of lunch um, and recess, which what is it now? I don't even know, 20 to 30 minutes, most at the most 30 minutes. Um, that is the extent of your socialization in public school. Yes, you're around kids all day. These your kids would be around kids all day, but it's not socialization time. So that is one thing that I think people, people want to say, well, your kids aren't going to have any socialization during the day. In public school, you have a very small window of socialization that you can do talking, um, you know, free time, whatever. Um, so that is kind of a something that I think people don't realize how little time your kids have in public school being able to talk and have free time. Also, my kids do extracurriculars and by, I mean, they do extracurriculars every day, pretty much. That is more than enough. If your kids do extracurriculars, which I absolutely recommend, um, get your kids into extracurriculars early because it helps to build friendships. It helps to build, um, you know, confidence in something um, that they can do and kind of call their own sport or activity, dance, whatever it may be. Um, my kids get enough socialization. Mind you, they also get socialization at home because they have, they're one of seven. Um, so I don't even worry about that anyway. But for the average person who may not might not have a huge family, get your kids enrolled in extracurriculars or clubs or homeschool co-ops or whatever it may be. Socialization is is so is such an overrated excuse for not wanting to homeschool because there are so many other ways and better ways that they can socialize than the few minutes that they get in public school. So keep that in mind. Um, extracurriculars. As they get older and you have sports in school, um, again, the extracurriculars that my kids have outside 
of school um, are things that they would have been doing even if they had been in public school. I do not worry about my kids missing out on um, high school or middle school sports. I just don't. I do not feel like it is that important um, as long as they are doing things outside of school. I was on dance team in high school. My husband was in baseball. So we know, um, and I can tell you that so there, there was so much time put into that. They, my kids would not have been able to do anything outside of that. Um, had they chosen, had they been in public school and continued on and done sports, um, in school as they, as they get older. The friendships and the time that we invest into our extracurriculars is more than enough, in my opinion. Now, with that being said, I know there are people that, that, um, high school sports is very important. Um, it is to some people, um, to me. Not so much. And I feel like as long as they are doing something and a part, she keeps sneezing, um, and a part of something, an organization, a sport outside of homeschool, that is more than enough. Thirdly, people will tell you, or you will think, especially coming from public school where you are by yourself or with your little kids also um, throughout the day, who take naps and um, gives you time to, you know, sit and rest a minute, the time that you are missing being by yourself. Um, this kind of rubs me the wrong way when people say that. And um, in my opinion, and disclaimer, as always, this is me. This is, these are my thoughts and my feelings. Um, and I'm not judging anybody, but I feel like I will have all the time in the world when my kids are grown and done with school. Um, these years are forming them. They are forming them into the people that I want them to be, um, teaching them what I want to teach them. And I don't feel like me time all day for eight hours is necessary. It's just me. Um, I like spending time with my kids. I enjoy spending time with my kids. Um, it's fun. And I, I, I genuinely do not long for a day where I have eight hours by myself to do nothing. <laughs> I am probably one of the people, very few people that feel like that. Um, but in my mind, and I get very um, sentimental about it because I know that these times are fleeting and um, you will have all the time in the world, let me tell you, once your kids are grown to do that. And this is not that time for me now. So having alone time as a parent, and I'm not saying you don't get alone time, you can get alone time, but using homeschooling and public schooling as an excuse as to why you shouldn't homeschool because when are you going to have me time? Um, I've just never been like that. Um, I did enjoy maybe a little bit of a break when uh, my older kids were in school and, um, you know, my younger kids were napping. Uh, that is obviously that's kind of a given. Of course, you're going to enjoy a little bit of just rest time for a minute, eat my lunch. Um, lunch is a little bit more chaotic now with all seven kids at home, but I would not change it for anything. So my opinion, I will not judge you if you drop your kids off and go to the gym. It's okay. <laughs> um, curriculum cost. So this is a touchy subject for a lot of people because a lot of people think that um, either you have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, and some people are okay with that. And some people, um, I, I feel like what you spend is your own business. And um, it, is, it is not 
something that you can judge one person or another based on what they spend their money on curriculum wise. Um, I enjoy buying curriculum and I enjoy mixing things up and um, being able to purchase things uh, for my kids that keep them engaged and entertained based on what they're learning. Different books, different activities, uh, different manipulatives, um, things like that. There's so many things and that is the beauty of this is that you can piece together certain things and get keep your kids interested in what they're learning. Um, so you don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, you do get what you pay for. I do believe that. So if you are looking for all free resources, they're available, but you're not going to get as much, I don't feel like. Um, so you will be spending a little bit of money. You do not have to spend a whole ton of money to and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth to get a good curriculum and looking for sales and looking for those times of the years where they're doing sales, back to school sales and things like that. Um, shop around for the particular curriculum that you want and pieces that you want. Um, Amazon very frequently has a lot of the curriculum on there for cheaper. So do not let the cost of curriculum um, the misconception that you have to spend a whole lot of money, but I do recommend, like I said, you get what you pay for and, um, you know, being able to provide your kids with some extras and some extra fun things to keep them engaged in their, in their subjects, um, is a benefit of this. Finally, teaching without being a teacher. Um, this was one of my fears, like I mentioned in my other video, um, but there are so many, like I've said, there are so many resources to help you if you are struggling with a subject or struggling, um, with a grade level, there are so many resources out there. So it is a misconception that you have to have a degree in order to teach your kids, um, if it is a subject that you are just, I cannot do this, um, calculus, and you can't find a good curriculum, whether it be a virtual learning or a DVD that teaches them, look into co-ops and just have them go for that one class. Um, do not let the fact that you are not an official teacher um, prevent you from homeschooling. And funny enough, a lot of things will come back to you as you start going over these things with your kids. I have learned that um, through, geez, through my sixth graders math. I mean, a lot of these things just come back to you, like riding a bike. It's crazy. Um, I mean, things you would already know, but it's like, oh yeah, I remember doing this in school. Um, so oddly enough, you will remember quite a bit of stuff from school. But even if you don't, do not let the fact that you are not um, that you did not do you not have a teaching degree sway you from homeschooling your kids. Um, it is a misconception and a lot of people will tell you, well, you don't have a teaching degree. How are you going to teach your kids? Um, again, as they get older, they get a little bit more independent and they you can start outsourcing those things um, with what you are, don't feel comfortable teaching. So just a few things misconceptions that people will tell you about, that people will um, try and question you about and kind of knowing how to respond. And like I said, sometimes there are not any right answers, um, but to be prepared because those are some things that people are going to ask you and people are going to grill you on, especially leaving public school. Um, I did get asked these things quite a bit. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. Do not forget to subscribe if you have not already. Um, if you enjoy these types of videos and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.